Today I want to show you the code of uh, K-mean clustering algorithm. As you know, K-mean clustering is hard clustering because each data point belongs to exactly one cluster. So we will find how we can move a single data point in a single cluster. So every data point will exactly belong to only one and one cluster. So these are the two basic formulas for two-dimensional data. As we are using wind speed and AC power is two dimensions. These are two important dimensions for our data. We will find the Euclidean distance formula and centroid formulas. These two formulas we are using in k mean plus for two dimensional data. The Euclidean distance find the distance between two data points. While the centroid formula will find the mean of the distance of that data point which belong to I, I think you have studied the detail but I want to show you just these two formulas and uh, this is the data points these are the two coordinates x and y. What k is doing is uh, it uh, initially gives the centroid points for every cluster then it updates the centroids and uh, move data in a similar cluster way. So what is program do in our case uh, this is my function declaration of uh, wind speed uh, it is uh, reading my table. And these are my variable names. I am taking these two variables wind speed and AC power. So I am using the k value as 15 because I am running the code for cluster 15. So you can change this value, any value you can take it uh, from 2 to 15. So you can change this value. This line will show me the size of rows and columns and uh, it will show me the maximum rows limit. Uh, this will find me i is equal to 1 to k. It will run in 15 times and uh, it will find the wind, wind power. It will find the value of uh, which cluster actually it belongs. It's just like the initial values of clusters, uh, 15 cluster values. Now moving distance matrix, what it will find me, it will find me the distance as I have shown you in this formula. Uh, it is applying this formula in these steps so all these lines are doing just a square root of uh, it's the way how we can uh, find the square root of the two data points and the next step it will find between the two data points and which distance is minimum it will find actually the minimum distance here it will find me the mean value mean the centroid formula it will find the mean of the minimum distance find the cluster value and k means this step will find the new cluster value which we will get after these calculations we will find the new clusters so it will update its cluster value now in this step it is finding the point it is finding the location of the that point it give us the coordinates of that point in which that data point lie so i have shown you this data point it's uh, like in this type of values 162 to 72 it's an x coordinate and y coordinate so it will this line will find the coordinates of that point and will plot that point in a particular location we have 15 clusters so this code will run for every data point and every data point will be updated and it will move to a cluster if its a minimum distance value is 1 1 its coordinates not set coordinate but its minimum distance value is 1 1 then it will move to cluster or O R mean O red red color cluster. If its minimum distances of a data points are one one, and if its cluster value, so minimum distance is actually this is the cl uh, cluster value two three four five up to fifteen. So these all lines will will run in continuously until our k values finished, our maximum rows finished. So it will run for maximum rows. Uh, I think we have almost uh, 10,000 rows. So it will run 10,000 times or maybe more than that and will give us the output is X level and Y level. And this will display our centroids. I show you how these, these are rep. So replicate uh, here you can see these are my different replicates and some of the replicates you can, you can, you can see that replicate fire failed to converge it in 100 iterations. So it is not as important. I have uh, used this value here. Replicate is equal to 10 in this step. 
you can even remove this it is not as important i have practiced on different replicate values to get the better centroids so you can remove this because sometimes it is creating problem it actually run the different iterations this is the steps in different iterations in different replicates these are actually the different steps of iterations in first replicate it will run the code in 79 iterations and it find the minimum the total sum of distance and similarly it can run for 10 times as i have given it the value 10 so these are best total sum of distances are this one and these are x and y coordinates of the centroids so these are my new updated centroid for every replicate and after running for multiple iterations it will update these centroid values so this is all about my K means cluster this is uh, our graph it's uh, between wind speed and active power so this is all about the k means and uh, you can see that it is a hard clustering so every point belong to only one cluster 